Hey guys and welcome back for another flashlight review. Today I got the multi-purpose E7 flashlight from Wuben, which is a headlamp or a normal EDC light. If you want to use it as a headlight you need to buy the P1 headlight clamp uh, accessory so that you can make it compatible as a headlight. Both come in a cardboard box with already a few infos printed on. So you see we have turbo mode with 1800 lumen for one minute then it will dim down and the low mode with five lumen for six hours. You have QR codes to scan then you directly get to the website or to Facebook. Maximum beam distance 132 meters. Maximum Peak beam intensity 4356 candela, waterproof according to IP68, drop resistance 1.5 meters, weighs 80 gram result. The battery is 60.6 millimeters long and then the diameter varies between 24 and 28 millimeters. So I would say let's open up the package so we have a nice manual the e7 itself pretty small and compact for 1800 lumen and then we have probably a few accessories And they say pull. Oh, you have to open on the on the side. So we got a lanyard. Two spare O-rings. Nice USB-C to USB-C charging cable. That's nice to have not a straight cable as we always get them let's say we also directly unbox the head strap here we get a pretty sturdy headband with silicon inserts so that you can easily put it on a helmet you can take the top band off also here you can slide it through special design here probably need to check how it's going to be inserted so you have to unscrew the tail cap and then you can insert it. We'll have a look at that later. So here's the E7 itself. Some nice sharp engravings. A lot of edges and curves on this light. I really like the aggressive design. Pocket clip can be taken off. USB-C charging port on top and then they say that you have to remove the battery insulation take off the sticker first magnetic tail cap I can show you that already that's always handy and then we have big spring in the tail cap, battery protection, have a look at the installed battery. So it's an 18350 with 1100 milliamp, no USB-C charging possibility, also spring in the head. Of 
to tighten the screw and then turn on the light. We have a battery indicator with a single click. Keep the button pushed to cycle through the different modes. Double click for turbo, single click for off. Long press does not give us anything. Let's see if it has tail cap lock out. No tail cap lock out. So that's always sad. I prefer to just lock out lights by tail cap lock outing them. So we will have a look at the head strap. So unscrew the tail cap and then need to slide it in. All the way through. It's not the easiest way to mount. There are other brands that have uh, headlamp mounts where you just slide in the pocket clip into the head strap. That's a bit easier also if you want to take it off or so. But this also works. And then you can adjust the light inside the head strap. So that works quite well. Okay, let's have a closer look at the user manual to see if there's anything interesting that I missed telling you. So on the first page they explain what is included in the package to remove the battery insulation and then we have the operation instructions so there's a few things I have not shown you yet with a quadruple click you can lock the flashlight one two three four it will blink two times now it is locked and to unlock another four clicks and it turns on again the special modes like strobe and SOS are uh, to be activated with a triple click so one two three we have the strobe another tree and it will go to SOS mode. Single click turns off the light. If you put a double click, you will just activate the normal lightning modes. Charging, it will be red. Once fully charged, it will turn into blue. And for the battery uh, indicator, while using the flashlight, you see now it stayed on for five seconds. So that means that we are between 40 and 15 percent. If only half of the light will be shown in red, it, it's be below 15 percent and if it's fully charged it is solid blue and afterwards half blue. So that's pretty easy to remember and that's already pretty much everything about this light. It uses an Osram P9 LED in both uh, the cases here sitting behind the tear lens and uh, I will now fully charge the battery and then we will head outside for the beam shots. Today I am in the forest with the Wuben E7. As you can see in the turbo mode with 1800 lumen it produces really an impressive output for such a small light. I only measured 1420 lumen, but it's plenty enough. It's a really nice uh, beam color, really a big fan of it. I will dim down the light now to the lowest mode, which is indicated with five lumen. I measured 4.7. For the ones who know me, I always ask for a moon mode even lower but this is already quite nice. Then we switch to the 150 lumen mode which I measured with 134 lumen. Ramp run up to 400 lumen which I measured with 320 lumen 
this is already a really nice mode for walking around. You see plenty enough. And then double click gets us to the turbo mode. So overall, I really like this light, big fan of the design. The only thing I don't like that much is the headband. In my eyes, it's quite a bit bulky and you could have opted for an easier uh, attachment version than this big bulky ring, especially as the flashlight is so small. But overall, uh, Wuben makes some really nice designs lately and I hope that I can review a few more lights from them. Hope in the video I answered all your questions. If not, please make sure to put them in the comment section. And as always, I would really like if you would subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up. See you soon guys. Bye bye.